In this video, we present a new synthetic dataset, structured 3D, with rich 3D structure annotations and photo-realistic 2D renderings of indoor man-made environments. Recently, deep learning-based methods have shown promising results in detecting various forms of the structure directly from the images, including planes, wireframe, cuboids, room layout, floor plan, abstracted 3D shapes. Due to the tedious process of manually labeling and verifying all the structure instances in each image, existing datasets typically have limited sizes and scene diversity. And the annotations may also contain errors. Take the Panorama Room Layout Estimation Benchmark as an example. Since the room structure may be occluded by furniture and other objects, the ground truth inferred by humans is not always consistent with the actual room layout. In the left image, the room is a non-cuboid layout, but the ground truth layout is labeled as a cuboid shape. In the right image, the front wall is not labeled as ground truth. These examples illustrate the limitation of using real datasets as benchmarks. Then, since each study primarily focuses on one type of structure, none of these datasets has multiple types of structure labeled. As a result, existing methods are unable to exploit relations between different types of structures. For example, planes in man-made environments are often bounded by a number of line segments. To create a large-scale dataset with the aim of facilitating research on data-driven methods for structured 3D scene understanding, we leverage the availability of professional interior designs. We first create a computer program to automatically extract all the geometric primitives and their relationships from original house design files. Then, we utilize industry-leading rendering engines to generate photorealistic 2D images. Here, we compare the rendered images with photos of real decoration guided by the design. For each room, we generate different configurations by removing some or all the furniture. We also modify the lighting setup to generate images with different temperatures. For each image, we also provide the semantic mask, the depth map, and the surface normal map. Currently, our dataset consists of more than 196,000 images of 21,835 rooms in 3,500 scenes. Compared to existing datasets with structure annotations, our dataset contains a diverse number of scenes and frames with multiple types of 3D structure. Based on the primitive and relationship representation, we can generate various types of structures, such as floor plan, wireframe, and planes. Since all ground truth annotations are automatically extracted from the original house design files, they are more accurate than those labeled by humans. Here, we show some layout annotations of panoramic images in our dataset. We first show the cuboid-shaped room. Then, we show more general layout annotations of panoramic images. We also show some layout annotations of perspective images in our dataset. Here are some cuboid-shaped rooms. Then, we show more complicated layouts beyond cuboid shape. Our dataset also provides 3D bounding box annotations in all scenes. To showcase the usefulness and uniqueness of the proposed dataset, we use it to train deep neural networks for room layout estimation. Room layout estimation is a representative task in holistic 3D scene understanding, which aims to reconstruct the enclosing structure of the indoor scene. Based on the 2D layout prediction, we can further reconstruct the 3D models. We adopt two recent CNN-based approaches, LayoutNet and HorizonNet, and use two real datasets, PanoContext and 2D3DS dataset. Here, we train the network with balanced gradient contribution. We build batches with images from both domains. The batch is dominated by the real images, and the synthetic images are used as a regularization term. We use three standard metrics to validate the layout predictions, including 3D IOU, corner error and pixel error. The experimental results show that augmenting the real dataset with our synthetic data boosts the performance of both networks. Here are some qualitative results of layout net. As we can see, training with our dataset, the network generates more accurate estimations. We also show the qualitative results of horizon net. Similar to the case of layout net, the network is able to generate better layout estimations when training on both synthetic data and real images. Further, inspired by recent advanced domain adaptation techniques, we conduct the room layout estimation task in the domain adaptation framework. In this experiment, we do not assume access to ground truth layout labels in the real dataset. 
we apply a discriminator network to align the output features of the layout net for two domains. We further leverage multimodal annotations in our dataset by adding another decoder branch to the layout net for depth prediction. We concatenate the layout and depth predictions as the input of the discriminator network. The results show that the network can predict more accurate results on real domain with domain adaptation techniques. By incorporating additional information, such as depth map, we further boost the performance on both datasets. We also show some qualitative results on the domain adaptation experiment. From those results, we observe that the layout estimation results get improved with the domain adaptation technique. To summarize our contributions, we first create the structured 3D dataset with rich multiple types of structures. Then, we introduce a unified primitive and relationship representation. This representation enables us to efficiently capture a wide variety of semi-global or global 3D structures and their mutual relationships. Last but not least, we verify the usefulness of our dataset by using it to train deep networks for room layout estimation and demonstrating improved performance on public benchmarks. Thanks for your attention.